All right, so I got the other two stormtroopers here, which are representing Drake Warriors, and uh, I'll be placing them in a random location. So let's see where they go. So I'm gonna pick a planetary location, and they are gonna go to the waterfall. So apparently we, Jace triggered an alarm, and now two more Drake Warriors have come out. Then of course we played, if we played a, uh, a different game, this may not happen, so that goes to show you that every, every game would be different. And I could have, for all I know, I could have had Zarathis pop up, or androids, or whatever. So, there you go with that. Reshuffle those. Uh, because there is times when you'll have stuff pop up in the same location several times over. Alright, so again, the, going back to the planetary board, uh, they go first, the NPCs go first. So he will continue on his track. Again, the order of the characters don't matter. So one, two, three, four. Uh, so fulfilling his, now if he says, if damaged, the NPC will not engage with the attacking character uh, and will continue hunting the lowest initiative character. So even if he gets shot at, he's going to continue to fire uh, at, at tricks. Uh, and of course, the NPC card will change. Even if you have a prey on the weak, this bottom one could change where he would attack back or whatever. So this will be different every time as well. So he is going to attack tricks, which is not good because I really need tricks to get in there. Um, so his attack is a five. Yeah, he's nasty. And he also has arm guns. After X473 uh, damages an opponent, he may, uh, he may make a second free ranged attack with minus one attack die. So, uh, technically, he could attack me twice. So I am going to roll for X. It's five die. Ouch. Okay, only two. He doesn't get plus one to anything, and he also has zero defense. So, you got a six and a five, and I have plus two to one, so I need to get at least a four to block one of those. All right, I got two fives, and which is great because then I can just get my plus, plus two to that, and I can make that into a six, and boom, I take absolutely no damage from him, so he cannot make a second attack. Woo! All right, so uh, that would be X's turn. Now Jace is over here, and again, since he's on a mission, um, he also has, after moving, the NPC will attack the closest enemy, uh, but again, we can't do that because that would go against uh, the mission. The mission is not to kill any of these characters. Um, so if he's got to make a uh, scan, Thing. Um, crew members may interact with an adjacent drag warrior uh, to place a transponder on them. Okay, so he is going to interact and then try to evade and leave. Um, the, the trooper will follow him out, so he will have to run. So he's going to interact with him, so we're going to place a coalition token on that. Uh, character and now he's going to evade uh, to leave. So the uh, coalition, let's see what, his stealth is three, so he's got to evade. So when you evade, you roll your stealth and he will get it. So he will be able to get out of there. So that would be, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four. So he's going to get shot out again because he didn't make it around the corner or wherever he was going. All right, so there. So I would be up. So I'm going to interact with my guy, but I'm still in stealth. However, I am adjacent, so if uh, I have to roll stealth either way, either to evade or to get out. So if I fail. Uh, he will be able to see me and then follow me out of the room as well. 
So I have three die on my stealth. Now I have no choice but to attack him. And if I kill him, then Darius would come out and I'll have another, another battle on my hands. Um, all right, so I don't want to kill him. Um, I want to be able, jeez, he's going to shoot at me then too. Ouch, that's a problem. So they have a health of three. Let's, I'm not going to use my blade. Um, I will attack him though. Might as well. So his attack is a five. Let's see if I. Uh, oh man. <laughs> Good thing I didn't use my blade. <laughs> I would have turned him into paste. Uh, because my blade has a plus one to one, and if I have, a, I'm also a sword master, so I'll actually end up using um, plus two to one. So technically, I can make two um, critical damage to him, and he'd have to roll a six to beat the one I have there. So technically, I could have I could have killed him in one one slice. So uh, hopefully, he'll have one damage left and he will add plus one to the highest that roll attack die and defense die. So his defense against my six, six, and five. Alright, so he'll take the six, so he'll take two damage, which is good. That means he won't he won't die. But I've done enough damage to him that if he is the undercover agent, it won't take me much to kill him. So there's his two wounds. Uh, so actually I'm going to put my transponder on top of that. Alright, so that would end his turn. And now I have Trix uh, that I have to deal with. So Trix has a stealth of four. So let me roll my four. Hopefully I'll get in there. And yes, absolutely. So as long as I stick to the walls, so one, two, three, and I'm against the wall, so I'm in the shadows, um, and that was one action. So I technically have another action, uh, so I can either put the transponder on him or I can pick up what's in there. So my scan um, is a three. So let me roll these three, and I have a six, six, and a one. So uh, let me take a peek at what this is, uh, and it's absolutely nothing. It actually says nothing right on it. So I am going to leave that there, and I have it's obvious about what my next action is going to be then. Uh, so I will take a transponder. And I will put the transponder on him. And that would end her turn. So both of our turns are now finished. And this guy will now... Uh, and if you remember correctly too, I should have left this out. If you remember correctly, our number was three. So we are looking for the number that has a three on it. So they have a movement of uh, three as well, and they have a range of three. So he'd be going one, two, three out the door, and he's gonna fire on Jace again. So let's roll the three attack die. And he can't make that a seven, so he's going to make this a four. So he's going to get hit twice, so Jason's going to roll two. 
and he's got a plus one to his roll highest attack die, so he's going to make that a six, so he's going to take one more wound. But since he's, all of your, your commanders are always going to have uh, more hit points than your other characters, so he's going to be fine. All right, so that's two wounds on him, but he has a transponder on that guy. And uh, the problem is, uh, I'm going to know when he hits that number, he's going to, I'm going to know what that number is. So that's, uh, so basically he's, he's almost working for me. <laughs> All right, so now we have these guys that are now going to come out. And there's only two characters within range, uh, and that's these these two guys. So he's gonna they're, they're gonna go one two three, and one two uh, one two three. So Jace is gonna get hit again. And we're gonna get a five and a four. Jace will defend against those two with a six and a one. So he's going to take one more wound. All right. And now the one against X. So now Jace, after moving the NPC, will attack the closest. Uh, enemy unless it succeeded in its stealth test. Alright, so he, if, now if he gets attacked, he will attack back. So, he will probably, probably try to kill that guy. Alright, so against X, uh, X because a 6 and a 4, so he's just, he just can't make go any higher, so this is going to be 6 and a 5. And he has no defense. He's going to take two wounds. All right, so X has eight wounds uh, before he dies, so he's fine. Okay, so everybody took damage now. So now we go to the world event card. And we get a quake. So we have an earthquake. What's that rumbling? Perform a five attack. Each character not on the center uh, tile defends against that attack. Each hit does one damage. Each damage taken pushes the character back one space from the center square. Uh, flyers are unaffected. Wall damage applies. And uh, so that there for right now. So it will be a five attack. And the only three people that are on the center tile are these guys. Because actually the center tile goes one space around the building. All right, so we have uh, five attack. All right, and it looks like only one hit. So everybody will defend against uh, the one hit. All right, so we'll start with Kunlor. And he will take a damage and he will take a step back, which means now he's not at stealth. Of course, he gets to go next uh, before the, the uh, trooper does. So he'll take one damage. And comes here. Alright, so we'll just go keep on over here with the trooper. And he will take a damage and move back also one. Uh, of course that kills him. Because he had two damage. So, so that will be three damage. Uh, so since that kills him, we'll turn it over. Oh, and there's the three, which means he was the undercover agent. So let's read the uh, thing and see how that applies. Um, once the other agent is, uh, is discovered, he becomes a member of the Coalition crew. Place a Coalition token next to him and remove all tokens from the other Dreg warriors. Uh, the agent gets plus two health. Uh, for each Renegade crew member on the board. So there's only one, so he'll get two, uh, so he does not die. 
Uh, so he will have three damage out of five, and he will become a coalition. So all these guys now get their numbers taking off, and he is now next turn going to be an NPC controlled by. Uh, he'll go at the same time as all of the other uh, coalition characters. Uh, so actually, he will hit me first now. Okay, so that changes things. Uh, still alive, so that's all good. And he did not get any wall damage because he didn't go far enough into the wall. So let's go with X. X will take a damage as well. Uh, so that will be three damage for him. And, oh, he'll go this way. And we'll use that trooper there. Trooper will take a damage also. And he'll go back one. Alright, so Trix. Trix will not take any damage. So she will stay and she will stay in stealth. Uh, the trooper next to her, of course this can go. I don't need any of the uh, transponders now. Whoa, can't do that again if I try. One, so he'll take a damage, and he'll move backwards. That'll be two damage for him. Um, oh no, that'll be one. I don't know why they came from before. Okay, and now we have the trooper uh, over there next to Jace. Wow, I'm worth one roll king over here, so there we go. And he'll take a damage. Everybody else is safe, so that would be the earthquake. Yeah, earthquakes are nasty. So, uh, that will be that. Okay, so the space board. Since I now know what this is, I am going to take it. That will be one of my actions. And it is a Zarathi deflector rig. So I'm going to go through the deck and find the deflector rig. Okay, so here's the deflector rig. And it says, place five energy tokens on this card. Each time your ship takes damage, uh, you may remove one energy token to force the attacker to defend against an attack. So, i.e., if I take two damage, uh, the attacker defends against two. Uh, once one energy tokens remain in this card, discard it. So that will go on my ship. And I will put uh, five energy tokens on it. So, again, my initiative is a four, their initiative is a four, so I'm going to go first because I'm a renegade, and I, uh, Grom will shoot for his five as my second action, since I do not need to scan these guys anymore. Okay, and he will get plus one. Uh, Grom gets plus one to one die, so I'm going to do five, five, four, four, and this is the score. So the coalition, the Aurora will roll four dice, and they got five, four, and Flippy will automatically make that into a six, which will do nothing for them, but uh, so six and four. And so they'll take two damage. Okay. All right. So the Aurora is down to 60% shields. And now, of course, they will fire on me because they don't need to uh, help Jace on on the land as well. Now, let me put this underneath here. Okay. So they will fire on me with the same five. And I might be using that deflector rig right now. And they will miss me completely. Oh, no, she gets uh, plus one to one, so she will get a four. So I will take one hit, and we'll see if it's damage. Nope. So I will not be using my rig. So they will stay there uh, since they don't have to perform any other actions. 
All right, so now we're back on the planet. And Jace now will, as part of his mission parameter, uh, needs to defend this guy. So since they go first, he will t attempt to break away to uh, do uh, his elusiveness. So that's, he's got a three stealth. So he needs to succeed in his stealth roll to be able to break away from the trooper. And he gets two sixes, so that's a definite possibility. And he will go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Which is, uh, so that's both of his actions. That's two movements. And we might as well have this uh, trooper. So he will fire, and then he will attempt to break away from me to run towards Jace. So they have uh, a three attack. So he will attack Cunlor. And it'll be a six, a four, and a one. So he will get two hits on me. And let's see if they become damage. And I will block one. I can make that into a five. I can make that into a two. So that's not going to help. So I'm going to take one more wound. And now he will attempt to break away, which he only has one. So all of his stats will be one for this particular mission. And he will do it. And uh, they have a three movement, so it'll be uh, technically he's inside thing, so he won't be getting very far. So it'll be two, three. So actually, he's gonna be here next to me again. Uh, yeah, that that did not help him being inside the uh, hindering terrain. All right. So now we have X. X will, according to his NPC card, will try to get back at the tricks. If he can't, then he will shoot the trooper. So, um, his stealth, he's not very stealthy since he's a robot. Um, okay, yes, his stealth is a one. So let's see if he can get away. If not, he will attempt to shoot the trooper. No, he's stuck there. So he will fire this way. And his attack is a five, and if he hits once, he'll be able to attack again. So I guarantee you that that trooper's not going to live very long. All right, so he gets no pluses at all. So he only hits twice. Let's see if any of those are to become damage. Uh, nope. Oh yes, yes, because they'll get a plus one, so we have five and a four won't be enough. Um, so they will take will take a second damage and now since he hit him he'll be able to now fight with four instead of five and the second attack. Oh my god. That's pretty nasty. Three out of four hits with big numbers and he will block one. He will be able to block one. So he will die. Uh, and actually with a campaign game, uh, technically he'd be getting points for killing him, um, or cash. So, uh, in fact, when I kill him, I, only got, I think it's 25. I'll have to look back at the reference card. So anyway, so uh, now it is my turn, and Kunlor will attempt to behead this guy. Uh, which I guess I should have done earlier, I just didn't know he was the right number. But as soon as I kill him, now Darius is going to show up. Um, and we're going to have uh, as we're gonna have space people come up there too, as we have fighters show up. Alright, so Conlor has a 5 attack. I need to do 2 damage to him to kill him. And Jace will not get there in time. So I have a six, six. Oh yeah, he's dead as a door now. So uh, of course the one is nothing. So he won't have to even roll any defense because he gets plus one for the sword, and I get plus one, two to one for my swordsmanship. So I'll just turn that to a seven and that to a seven automatic two damage, 
and that will kill him. Okay, so now that he's dead, I fulfilled my side of the mission. Uh, however, um, according to this, of course, being in the rule book as opposed to being a piece of paper, uh, if a Drake warrior is killed, Darius, uh, which technically he was, even though we uh, sought him out as the traitor, uh, Darius does not know that he was a uh, undercover operative. If a Dreg Warrior is killed, Darius will spawn in the security room with two Dreg Warriors and will gravitate towards the killer. If more than one, the last Dreg Warrior killed, uh, in addition, three Dreg Fighters will spawn in orbit of the mission planet. So, uh, these two guys will now respawn in here, and I don't have a Darius figure, so instead I'm going to use the S4 figure. So let me go get that along with the fighters. Mm -hmm.